Hi guys, welcome to B Code Wala. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a temperature converter like this. You can see in my web page a temperature converter which convert the Celsius into Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit into Celsius. So to make this temperature converter will use HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe us. So let's come to our VS code. Here you can see in our VS code. Here is our basic structure of the HTML file and after that I have taken my title temperature converter after doing this we'll go for our basic HTML file we'll see styling later so come to our body tag in body tag I have taken the h1 tag temperature converter you can see here in our web page I have taken a heading temperature converter so after that I have taken a div with id container so in this div I have taken another div with class input div and in this div I have taken a level tag which I have written celsius you can see here I have taken the level Celsius and after that I have used break tag to break the level tag and to get a input like this. You can see here, here input. So I have taken the input tag in which I have taken type number. It should be type in number form. So after that I have taken a starting value. 0 it should show 0 and after that I have taken the id cell for celsius so in this I have taken the class in for this celsius input after doing this this much of code we will copy and paste this same code here for the fahrenheit so in this I have taken a div tag with class input div and in this div I have taken a level tag in this I have taken the Fahrenheit and after that I have break my level tag so it will give the input in another line so I have taken the input tag with type number it should be type in number form and a starting value I have taken 32 you can see here in our web page starting Fahrenheit value is 32 and I have taken id fh so after that I have taken the class in so after doing this that much of HTML code we go for styling so for styling I have taken the style tag in this style tag I have taken body tag in body I have taken padding 50 from top and bottom and 100 from left and right after that I have target my h1 tag you can see here in our web page h1 tag so in the h1 tag I have taken text align center and text shadow I have taken 4 pixel horizontal vertical and I have taken 5 pixel blur and a color code you can see here our color code so after that I have taken the container ID I can show you here is our container ID 
so we are going to style our container i have taken text align center and in this i have taken the background color code green you can see a here our color code after that i have taken padding 50 pixel after that i have taken the width 100 percent so after doing this i have target my class input div i can show you here is the my class input div for both of the div tag so after that in this i have taken the display inline block for the input div after that i have target my inp tag so inp tag here is our inp tag i have target my inp class so here i have taken the padding 5 pixel from top and bottom and i have taken 10 pixel from left and right so after that i have taken margin 10 pixel font size 30 pixel font weight 700 width 250 pixel text align center after doing this i have target my level tag in this i have taken font size 22 pixel after doing this much of style so we go for our js so in our js file i have taken the script tag in this scripted i have taken a variable cell in this i have taken the id i am targeting the id so id cell you can see here our id is here id cell similarly we have target our id fns for fahrenheit so after that i have taken the cell this cell variable dot i have target an event listener in this i have taken input whatever you are given the input in that i have taken a function in this function i have taken let c equal to this dot value whatever value you are putting it will take the value in this i have taken the fahrenheit starting value so it is 32 it will show here in that for calculating fahrenheit we have taken a formula c into 9 by 5 plus 32 it, this is the formula for changing celsius to fahrenheit if i have taken if tag if number dot integer if it's not an integer here i have taken if f is not an integer f equal to f dot to fix 4 it means if it's not an integer means uh, if it come in decimal or something we have fixed that the it is should show decimal point up to 4 digit you can see here i have taken 4 here it, it will show the decimal digit to up to 4 digit i can show you here see it is showing the decimal digit up to 4 so we have fixed our up to 4 digit if it is not an integer so after doing this i have written f dot value equal to f it will take the give value so then i have target my variable fh with event listener in this i have target or again input in this i have taken a function and in this i have taken let f equal to this dot value whatever value we are given it will take that value after that i have target our c i have taken a variable c in this i have taken to convert fahrenheit to celsius so here is a 
formula for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius F minus 32 into 5 by 9 so again we have target our this Celsius num Celsius so here also we have similarly fixed our decimal point two four if it is not an integer so I can show you here see if I have given some Fahrenheit value it will be showing the value up to four digit only so we have fixed our digit up to four so it if it is in decimal it will show the four up to four digit so if it not a integer and then it will get the value cell dot value equal to c so after doing this we'll get a beautiful temperature converter like this so if i give the value 35 it will show the fahrenheit 95 35 celsius equal to 95 fahrenheit if i am giving 76 it will show the celsius is 24.444 degree celsius so after this we make our a beautiful temperature converter like this you can make different type of converter using js html and css so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video